Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is here. It's a massive expansion that adds tons of new content, including 19 more unique monsters, a new story and quest hub, three new maps to hunt on, and an overhaul of the combat and equipment systems. It's a gorgeous game that's available on many different cloud gaming services, including those that aren't running Windows anymore. I'm Little Quick, and today we're here to witness the dawn of Sunbreak on maximum settings. We're using the 75 cents an hour tier that features 24 gigabytes of RAM, tons of storage, a solid AMD Ryzen CPU, and a Radeon graphics card. Maximum Settings Cloud PC service no longer comes with Windows installed, so from now on we'll be usually sticking to titles that can run on the Linux Mint OS that comes with the service. Steam's system information feature shows that we're working specifically with the AMD Radeon 6800 XT graphics and the Ryzen 7 5800X processor. Installation went fairly quickly. It took 9 minutes to download and install the game. With another minute or so to install shaders, I would expect to get into the game after about 10 to 15 minutes if you're playing for the first time. If the game's already installed, the standard 3 to 5 minutes of turning on your Mac settings PC and loading the game will apply. After getting in, the game looked a bit more grainy than I'm used to. I increased my in-game display settings and my Moonlight Stream data rate to try to fix it. It helped, but still felt different from my home PC experience. It wasn't anything to ruin my gameplay or even make the game look bad, but I couldn't quite make it look just like what I'm used to. Once I started killing monsters in the new locales, I completely forgot about the issue. My moonlight stream rate was holding about 60 frames per second at all times, while Steam's FPS meter shows my maximum settings PC was usually at 60, but dropped as low as 45 FPS in certain places during exploration and combat. Latency should be good from Cleveland to Toronto. I was surprised to find that the average network latency was about 40 milliseconds because the gameplay was responsive and I didn't feel any significant control delay. Usually I'm looking for under 30 milliseconds, but it didn't hurt this game. Multiplayer worked very well. Latency was responsive. I had no issues playing with friends or hunting with complete strangers online. Even with the increased control lag one would expect when connecting to an online host and playing through the cloud, things never felt sluggish. I had no online disconnections, something that happens on my own PC from time to time when I'm playing multiplayer, nor did I have any obvious crashes or game bugs to interrupt gameplay. All in all, the game was stable, gorgeous, and controlled well during the hours I put in. The verdict is recommended. The game barely felt any different than it did on my home PC running Windows. I was first put off by what felt like a grainy look, but between increasing my settings and just playing the game, I completely forgot about it. High settings ran extremely well, with minor drops in frame rate. No modifications to Linux, such as Wine or Proton, were required to make the game function. If you want to play Monster Hunter Rise with Sunbreak on maximum settings, and you're close enough to Toronto to have good latency, you won't be disappointed. If you have experience playing on maximum settings with Linux or older Windows accounts, let us know how your experiences are in the comments. It's been hard to paint a good picture of what to expect for maximum settings after the switch to Linux Mint OS. Any and all feedback is going to help others looking at the service. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the content and bell up if you want to keep it tuned right here to the only place you can do battle in gaming heaven Cloud Gaming Battle. A little quick out.